ஆழ்வார் எம்பெருமானார் ஜி ஆர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் ஜி ஆர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் இன் திருப்பாவை அண்டன் ஆட்சியார் சேஸ் தட் வென் வி டூ நாமசம் கீர்த்தனம் அவர் சின்ஸ் அவர் பாஸ்ட் கர்மாஸ் கெட் பேர்ன்ட் அவே லைக் காட்டன் ஸோ இன் தட் கான்டெக்ட் இஸ் தட் அப்ரோப்ரியேட் ஃபார் அஸ் அண்டர்கான் பஞ்ச சம்ஸ்காரம் ஆர் இஸ் இட் மோர் ஆஃப் அ ஜென்ரல் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் ஃபார் அப்ளிகபிள் டு ஆல் பிகாஸ் then wouldn't it be that if we start doing nama sankirtanam uh, and the karmas get uh, destroyed is that some uh, different purpose that gets different upayam that gets established or is it under again its understanding is incorrect yeah see what um, andal nachya has said in tirupavai and in many other places alwars have uh, said about um, bhagavan's uh, divine names and uh, itihasas puranas there are so many references where it says that when when one does nam sankirtana one's uh, sins get eliminated this is the general um, reaction of reciting nam this is a standard uh, benefit one will get when one recites uh, namas and uh, when one does nam sankirtana but for shri vaishnavas definitely we should not do it as a upayam so for us doing nama sankirtana is only kaintaryam so when we do kaintaryam just like for any action there will be always reaction so when we recite namas by natural uh, um, natural order by by the power of nama our sins may get eliminated and will get eliminated but that's not why we do nama sankirtanam we have to do nama sankirtanam as kaintaryam only for shri vaishnavas only um, bhagavan is the upayam and we have done sharanagati through acharya after that we cannot do anything with the intent of um getting some benefit whether it is spiritual or material so we cannot do any action which may lead to think that we are doing it as upayam that is why this nama sankirtanam is always little bit challenging there was even a uh, question um yesterday from one bhagavata about this nama sankirtanam how um why it is not um why it is not uh, practiced um fully in shri vaishnava sampradayam unlike in other sampradayams like bhajana margams uh, they all emphasize on nama sankirtanam so much but why it is not present in our sampradayam the main reason for that is if we emphasize nama sankirtanam uh and the question also relates to alwars have glorified nama sankirtanam so much uh and then uh, even andar nachiar has glorified nama sankirtanam still why it is not practiced fully by all shri vaishnavas only select group of people are doing some nama sankirtanam some bhajanai but other than that it is not um, seen uh being practiced widely so the concept here is if um though all verses have glorified nama sankirtanam um acharyas have been very very cautious about um emphasizing too much on nama sankirtanam because one reason is nama sankirtanam is specifically mentioned as an upayam for kali yugam so if we start doing nama sankirtanam people may think that that is the main upayam for for us also if we emphasize too much on it so acharyas have left it to the discretion of the individuals and do nama sankirtanam through alwars pasurams whenever we recite alwars pasurams we are glorifying bhagavan's names qualities forms and so on so that is one aspect where if we 
emphasize too much on nama sankirtan then we may also become similar to other bhajana margams where they are saying that um, by reciting nama sankirtanam you can reach bhagavan that is their main means they always emphasize on um, reciting nama but for us sharanagati is the upayam so we cannot say anything contrary to that so in this case nam sankirtanam becomes kaikaryam only the other aspect of nam sankirtanam is in many sampradayas bhajana sampradayas we can see that over time people become more attached to the music and the tunes and how um vigorous the nam sankirtanam goes ups and downs and highs and lows and focus goes more into that rather than uh, the name itself and uh, bhagavan who is the nami so so these are couple of reasons why um, there is not much emphasis we can see in the acharyas lives there are probably couple of references where there is talks about uh, singing and uh, glorifying but it is mostly um, divya prabandham seva kalam different kaikaryams and um, the knowledge aspect developing a deeper understanding of our philosophy and more than all of that giving importance to acharyas bhagavatas doing acharya kaikaryam bhagavata kaikaryam archavatara kaikaryam so all of these if you look at um, bhajana sampradayams they will not have any major temples maybe one or two temples will be there but other than that um, there is not much emphasis on different temples and archa um, worship and uh, they also are not supported by deeper philosophy they are mostly just do nama sankirtanam and uh, spend your time on that so these aspects are missing in the sampradayams but here we focus on acharya kankaryam bhagavata kankaryam archavatara kankaryam divideshan anubhavam so all of these um, are to be done as kankaryam and hence nama sankirtanam also is done as kankaryam as applicable whenever there is opportunity for that alwar imperumana jiyar tiruvadigale sharanam jiyar tiruvadigale sharanam To learn such valuable information about our Sri Vaishnava Sampradaya, please download Koyil K O Y I L app from Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Our website is koyil dot org. K O Y I L dot O R G.